So hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video and today I want to talk about credit farming. Now a little backstory for this, um, I've recently spent 2 million credits on transmutation and since Barakatir has some pretty nice stuff this week I had to farm some credits to get it. So I jumped onto series and I did the same many Dark Sector Defense mission which is a really good mission for farming credits and of course I took my Chroma because Chroma is the best Warframe for farming credits, right? Right? I actually kind of found out that he's not and that's why I'm making this video. So I did 10 runs with Chroma and I let Effigy kill pretty much everything. I would clean up the random stragglers that just scatter around the mission, right? The random MOAs jumping everywhere. I would just kill them with either my Boltor or Sonicor. And I was getting pretty good numbers. I was getting between 2,500 and 5,000 bonus credits from drops from each run. But it felt kind of slow. So I did 10 more runs, but this time on my Necros. Now I had Amprex and I was playing the mission as I normally would, right? I wasn't rushing to the spawn point. I was kind of waiting around the cryopod. I would kill a few enemies with Amprex and then I would desecrate a few times and I would kill a few enemies and so on and so on and so on. And it definitely felt faster, but the numbers weren't as good as they were with Chroma. I was getting between 1,000 and 2,500 bonus credits from drops rather than between 2,500 and 5,000. And here are the final results. So with Chroma, I got 200,000 bonus credits from finishing the missions and 38,000 credits from drops. And with Necros, it once again was 200,000 bonus credits from finishing the mission, but only 15,000 credits from the drops. Now, I almost forgot about something when I was writing all of this down, and that's energy restores. With Chroma, I had to use two energy restores for each mission. Now, if you have a better, more efficient build, you can cut it down to one energy restore, but you still have to use energy restores. And for 10 runs, that's 10 energy restores, and they cost 9,000 credits. So let's subtract 9,000 credits from Chroma. And we're down to 29,000 bonus credits from drops. Now, the other problem is time, because Chroma felt kind of slow, and I was actually correct. With Chroma, it took me around 5 minutes to complete 5 waves, and with Necros, it took me around 4 minutes to complete 5 waves. And that's purely because of effigy, because you have to let the enemies come to the effigy so you can kill them and they can potentially drop more credits. And I know that you don't have to use energy restores to keep effigy up 100% of the time and you can speed up the flow of the mission by killing some enemies with your weapon, but then you're not getting the bonus credits, right? You might as well just run a different frame. Now let's look at the final numbers and see how many credits you're gonna get if you were to farm on say many on series for one hour. So with Chroma, you're gonna get 22,900 credits per run. This takes five minutes, which means you can do it 12 times in an hour, and that's a total of 274,800 credits. Now with Necros, you're gonna get 21,500 credits per run, and it takes four minutes, which means you can do it 15 times in an hour. And that's a total of 322,500 credits. So that's it! Necros is the best farming frame for credits. No, <laughs> it's not. You see, the most important thing about farming credits on, say, many is the 20,000 credit bonus you get after finishing the mission. And if you take Speed Nova, you will finish five waves in under two and a half minutes. Which means you can do this mission 24 times in an hour. And even if you don't pick up any of the credits that are dropped by the enemies, you're gonna get 480,000 credits per hour. And that's a lot of bloody credits. Now, this video is a little bit different because it's aimed at people who like to min-max rather than my other videos, which are kind of aimed at everyone. But I figured, well, I already did the research for myself. I might as well just make a video and share it on YouTube so other people can use it as well. So, yeah, I thank you very much for watching once again, and uh, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.